Yeah, back on the Sportsbank zone. Now, a story which has caught our eye here at the zone is one of Annington Frankson, a former Manning Cup player for Excelsior High School and captain of the St. Thomas Cobras in the JFF Sportsmax Elite Football League last held in 2018. Now, he's been diagnosed with lymphedema, a condition which causes swelling of tissue in the body. This swelling occurs for Allington in his leg, making it impossible for him to play the sport he loves. A procedure can be done to rectify the issue, but said procedure is only available overseas and is quite costly. Allington joins us live in studio to shed more light on his situation. It's good to have you. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm elated to be here today. Yeah. Um, I want to say thanks to Sportsmax for giving me the opportunity to be here today to express my feeling yeah. and my situation going forward. Yeah. Before we get into it, first of all, how are you handling all of this mentally, emotionally? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I just try my best to, to see, to, to try my best to manage as much as possible. Some of the time I don't really try to think about the situation, knowing that if I think about the situation, I remember at times whenever I sit down like by myself, it, it caused me to I can't even explain the situation to 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 how hurt I am at this moment, knowing that I have good I really missed out on a really great opportunity yeah. to further my career in football. And before we get into a lot of that, before any of this, how much, if anything, did you know about lymphedema? To be honest, I've never heard of it before. Since I received it, I'm, I, I can't even explain it, the situation because I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I was thinking where this is coming from. Yeah. yeah. Whenever, when I heard about it, I didn't know that it was that serious. Whenever I, I go ahead and look up on the internet about it, I start to cry at that moment. Yeah. Take us back to the beginning. Um, when this started affecting you, how did you find out um, what happened? What happened? Um, there was the firstly, I was playing a game for the Excelsior Community College and I receive a kick on my on my leg, my right leg, right above my ankle. So in that that was in 2019, October 2019. And uh, so after a period of time, when I received the injury, I reported to the school. But uh, the medical attention that I received was not immediately. So so at that time. I reported over and over, but at that time I was in, I didn't get the chance to, to visit the doctor immediately to see what, what's really going on. And what was happening at that time? What at, were the symptoms you were faced with? At that time it wasn't, it wasn't that swollen. Yeah. It wasn't that, at that time if you look at it, you cannot see that there is a swollen to it, but at that time, it's gradually built up over a time. So I, I sit down and wondering, what's really going on? So I would say that, okay, I, it might be okay, but after a period of time, I saw my foot start to develop. So I said, no, I need to see the doctor immediately. So I need to check out myself. So I went back and I report AC to, to the sports department at the Excelsior Community College. And what happened from there? What happened from there? Uh, the, to be honest, they have tried their very best yeah. to help me to, to some extent, yeah. but I, I don't get that enough yeah. treatment that I think I'm supposed to receive. When were you first diagnosed? In October. Last year? Last, um, that's 2019, the first diagnosis okay. that I received. Was October 2019? Yes, so, that's, um, so it's been three plus years now since I have diagnosed with this. And, and I know you can get assistance abroad. You, of course, did your research, or is it that your doctor um, let you know about the different procedures that you can probably get help from? 
Well, to be honest, I don't get that um, opportunity or the listening of that, but I know that there is, is a possibility that I can get it. I would love the opportunity to go overseas to, to even get that the best, yeah, the consultation, the best help that, that is needed. Yeah. And I will very feel elated because, to be honest, I would really like to play football knowing that the player that I am and the talent, everyone know that the person that I am towards the sport, the passion that I have about it, I really like to get that opportunity to go overseas to get the, the help so I but can able is to. It, is it that you think Jamaica doesn't have the necessary medical help that you need? Well, they might, but I don't think it, they have it that, to that extent, knowing the, the equipment that is needed to, yeah. to get the foot much better in that, in that instance. W what sort of treatment have you been getting in Jamaica? It's been three years now I haven't received any, inju any, any treatment, sorry, any treatment. You haven't received treatment in three years? Yes, but I have received treatment already. So um, the first treatment that I have received, I have done x-ray mm -hmm. and the result stated that there is no broke in the, in the leg and it wasn't fractured. Okay. But I received um, a lymph press, a thing called lymph press. Mm -hmm. that, was, that is when I was at Excelsior Community College. I received that treatment, but it, is, it was eight sessions I received, knowing that that was not enough to see if it could be able to get down the swelling in the leg. So, so what I'm trying to understand is, is why you haven't been getting continuous treatment for the last three years. Why has it been three years, no treatment, and you still have this condition, um, and I suspect that it has been getting worse. Yes, the reason why I haven't received any treatment is I remember at first, uh, I have someone named of Andy Sherl. She normally try to help me as best as possible. Firstly, uh, my, my coach, Mr. Riley, mm -hmm. who, who was the Manning Cup coach at that time mm -hmm. at XSA High School, was trying his very best to help me to that stage. But during that time, she, someone hill in her, in her family at that moment, mm -hmm. so, I didn't get the support going forward, and she was the only person at that time. So it's been a financial issue, you're saying, why yeah. you haven't been able to get treatment in the last three years? Yes, because my family don't have, I don't have that strong family support mm -hmm. financially, so that caused me to not get any treatment within that time, and yeah. Have you, have you yet been able to check out where you can get um, the proper treatment and how much it is likely to cost and, and those things? Well, to be honest, um, I remember when I was doing a therapy session here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. firstly, in which the same lady that I stated before, yeah. she was the one who was helping me at that time. Um, due to the, I was supposed to receive a quotation mm -hmm. of, the, of the price overall, mm -hmm. but it's currently in the process. Okay. So I'm um, currently waiting on it to see how much the total will be like to get the equipment or and, to get and the treatment. do you know where this is coming from? Yeah. Okay. I, I, because what I'm trying to get, if, if you've gone through the process of speaking with the Doctors. medical practitioners, yeah, um, for them to say to you, this is what the process is going to be, this is what your options are, um, this aspect can be done in Jamaica, but if this is required, then you have to go overseas. So I'm trying to get a complete understanding if you've gone through that process. No, not as yet. Yeah. Not as yet. To, for the process to go overseas, I don't really receive that quotation, but it's just for a therapy in Jamaica at the, at the time, knowing that the condition at the foot at, the foot at, at this moment, mm -hmm. but I haven't received any consultation to go overseas at the moment. So I haven't reached that stage as yet, so but I would like to get the opportunity to... Is, is it painful? To be honest, um, I don't feel much pain. The, the only time I will feel a lot of pain is whenever like, I'm going to, to... Whenever I'm traveling in a taxi, mm -hmm. I will feel a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort in my leg. Mm -hmm. whenever, um, whenever I go into a taxi, sometimes I have to bear, bear that pain whenever 
I'm traveling like from my home to half a tree or to half a tree to crossroad. So, so does this come on when you stand, when you sit, when you have to walk for a, 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 a long period? Um, yeah, how the, does the pain come on? Yeah. The pain, um, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm not able to stand up 20 minutes good. The moment I start to stand up 20 minutes good, I'm starting to feel the pain in my leg. I cannot even walk like a good distance, like when the foot was normal. So at that time, um, can I, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of discomfort. So it caused my foot, it started to swell. Cause even now I have on a, the, my foot is even swollen at this time. Yeah. yeah. We, we noticed, yeah. Do you work it. anywhere? Yeah, to be honest, yeah. I'm working at this time, but I'm not able to fund myself knowing that to, to try to take care of the foot. Yeah. Yeah, because knowing that I'm paying rent and Whenever I receive my pay, I know that I have to pay for my rent and I have to find food. So by the time I do that, I cannot even see. Because I would like to see if I could do it try yourself. to save and to do it myself, but I cannot afford to and do it trying, myself. Of course, you yeah. know, and I'm trying. And, and you, you had a pretty bright future um, as a footballer. In fact, you got a scholarship opportunity to go overseas, didn't you? Yes, uh, I received a full scholarship. Wow. In, in, in America. Yeah. Where, where was this? Bethel University at Tennessee. Mm. I received a full scholarship. And that what, was when in... When was this? In 2020. Yeah. Oh, so, so that was after you realized? Yeah. So when I received the injury in 2019, I, wasn't, I didn't know that it was going to be this bad. So I was so elated when I get the scholarship because, to be honest, knowing the talent that I have, there was a lot of college overseas, over the United States of America, yeah. want me to be at their college, knowing that the good player that I am, the good defender, the discipline that I have, and the, the drive, the drive and the, the knowledge of the sports, and also academically, knowing that I am good at that as well. Yeah. At what stage did you realize that one, you would have to give up that scholarship opportunity, and, and two, that with this issue, you'll not be able to play football. At that time, it was 2020, and knowing that the college I was trying to get, the college papers started out to go to the college. At that time, it was in July, near to August, knowing that that is the time whenever we do all the paperwork. Yeah so that we could get the, all of this, the school, all of the paperwork, so we can be able to join, if, if it's the case that to get the visa to do the traveling. But yeah. at that time, I realized that the foot started to develop, and, I, and I, was, I was even crying at that time. It was so emotional. I was going through a lot of mental breakdown at that time. I was depressed, I was stressed. I have a question. Is it that when you, um, so it, was there an opportunity for you to go with the injury to the college? and get treatment there? Oh, you can't. No. You mm, can't? No, if it, if it was a case that when, it, when I was at the college and, and I get the happened. injury, okay, okay. yeah, I yeah. Oh, wow. get that opportunity. Well, but the fact that it was an existing issue, there's no way he could have gone and um, started with that issue okay. because he's not in a state that he can yeah. play. Um, I'm just trying to find a way. <laughs> I'm just is, trying to find some way part, out. But um, how can we help? How can you know our viewers, we have a lot of viewers tuned in, how can they assist if they want to reach you, one, and they want to help? Okay. Um, firstly, I have a link in my bio on Instagram and also on my TikTok page. My, my Instagram page is Allington underscore 12, and the link is in my bio. Yes. And also on the TikTok, my page is Allington underscore 12. Yeah. Any, I would, I would really do appreciate any help. Um, any help the viewers right now viewing me at the moment, I will really deeply appreciate it because doing, knowing that the, the condition of the foot, the, I'm, I'm just feeling a lot of discomfort. And even at this time, I'm just trying to see if I can be able to cope, but I cannot. Can How you old run? Are you? <laughs> no, I can't. I would. I can A lot of time I try to exercise, yeah. but due to the swelling of my leg, I cannot do a lot like I usually do. Like when the foot was normal. Yeah. So at this time, 
I cannot run. But I try my very best to see if I, how active I can stay. Yeah. But every time I try, I just feel something sticking in my foot some of the time. So I just have to stop. Yeah. Either I feel some pain. So due to the condition, it's just that because of the how oh, bad it is at this time. So it's preventing me from doing any exercise in which what I was supposed to do. Yeah. What would it mean to you to get the assistance to, of course, do the surgery and be back doing what you love, playing football? It, it will be, to be honest, it will be one of the greatest achievements of my life, knowing that if possible for me to get the help, knowing that to get the chance, the opportunity to play back football once more, it will be more than a joy to me. Yeah. It will be more than a joy, knowing that I, the passion that I have for the sports, it will be a great help towards my career because knowing that this, I was the, the person out of my family. I, was, I told myself this was what I want to pursue as my career, to help my dad, my family, and anyone in my, in my family, first and foremost. Knowing that this happened to my leg now, it has broken me down mentally, but it will be more than a joy. It will be the biggest success of my life yeah. to get this football to, together normal, and if I can play back again. Yeah, I, I can completely understand. Um, yeah, the first thing I would say, um, just try as quickly as possible to get a full understanding as to what your options are. Um, best places for treatment, um, cost. best available options, the full cost. Um, and then I'm sure there are some great people out there in this world. I know a lot of times we say that um, things and times are different, but there are still a lot of good people out there, and many of them are watching this show right now. Um, and I'm sure you are going to get um, some help. Um, thank you very much for coming on and telling us your story, and we wish you all the very, very best, Allington. Um, we, we will pray for you. Um, and I'm and looking we'll forward pray to seeing that him you get the assistance. And yes, when yes. you play for the first time, we're going to be there to capture it. Yeah. yeah. And All the best. before I leave, I want to say a very big thank you to Sportsmax again and my coach to report this issue, knowing that I was able to, my coach, Riley, mm -hmm. yeah, for my Money Cup coach, for me to get the opportunity. I'm so elated at this time, but. Um, um, uh, I can't even explain. It's gonna get better. At this we'll time, show you. but hopefully, I am a true believer of God, hoping that I can get the opportunity and all the help that is needed. So all the viewers who are viewing me at this time, I would love each and everyone who have been trying to support already, or everyone that have me in their prayers at this time. I really do appreciate it. At this moment, all over on the internet, the media. I want to say thanks to each and everyone who have reached out to me, who will try their very best already before the process started. Yeah. Yeah. So, Allington Frankson, thank you very much. Let's take a break on the Sports Mike Zone. We'll be back with more.